YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with another Project Pan. I know, crazy, right? Totally not like me at all. Anyways, this is called Jewel in My Crown Project Pan. It is six to eight products, and they are all based on jewel tone type products. Duh, type products. Anyways, uh, I found out about this through the Pan Fam for Project Panners and Makeup Rehabbers Facebook group that L ls started so i will link that group down below you have to request to join but it's not hard at all to get approved for it actually been really nice to see lots of stuff that people have been painting so like i guess it's six to eight items jewel tone goes until the end of the year so first i have this elf waterproof eyeliner pen in teal apparently teal is a jewel tone and that is a swatch right there honestly figure that this will probably only last a month or two because these kind of dry up fairly quickly so figured it'd be a good way to get it out of my collection next is something I don't want to finish because that would be impossible but uh I want to flatten it it is the fantasy makers lipstick in deep purple and when I say flatten it, it I mean I want to basically take the point off and that is it right there. It's a very beautiful purple. It'd be very pretty cut for the upcoming fall. And the other non-powder eyeshadow I have, this is actually going to be a base to one of them. This is the Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. I did have to mix it up because it had gotten kind of dry. So I want to hit pan and there's already like some pan showing, but basically I'll probably just work on it until the end of the year and what progress I have will make it considered done. I wish they still made this one. I don't know why they discontinued this one because it's so pretty. And if you mix this with a blue eyeshadow, it usually turns a very pretty shade of purple. I found that out messing with it last year. Now as for eyeshadows, I picked three because I only decided to do six for now. And if I do start, you know, finishing, hitting my goals on some of these, I'll introduce more stuff in, but I just want to hit pan on all the eyeshadows because most of these are pretty untouched. First is this uh, Blink and BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. I always forget exactly what shades are which. I believe I want to use this shade Alatini. Oh, this shade right here, this pretty ruby color. And that is a swatch of it. Actually on top of the uh, Pomegranate Punk. They do go really nicely together. This is a really soft eyeshadow, so I actually don't think it will be that hard to hit pan. I don't know how deep these go, but I've used this like twice and I've already got like a dip going in it, so I don't think this will be that hard. The two that probably will be kind of hard are in my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I'm already trying to hit pan on one shade, but this would not count towards that shade for my uh, palette roulette, so I would like to hit pan on madness right here this really pretty blue color there it is right there and i would like to hit pan on x-rated which that might not necessarily come across as a jewel tone to you but this is where i got the inspiration this is my grandmother's ring it was a mother's day ring for all of her children's birthstones in it and this one in particular is for October, which is my mother's birthday, so I figured that would be a good jewel tone to throw in there. That wasn't necessarily just these, don't get me wrong, I really love them, but I'm already panning an emerald eyeshadow for my palette roulette, so I didn't want to throw in an emerald eyeshadow, but yeah, that was my thinking on it, so that kind of explains it right there. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. If you want to join in, please definitely do, and let me know if you do. So, bye!